<laughs> I don't think so. Not today, robot. So what's up? Welcome back, guys. Uh, today, I'm going to show you a couple of very cool things that are going to allow you to become a professional writer in all things. You'll be able to create a blog, get legal papers done, write a book, write absolutely anything. And it's so seamless and so cool. It's an app I found recently. And I got a couple of other things to show you after that. Let's get into it. The AI software I was talking about is called Cohesive. By the way, I got a very cool new mic. So hopefully the sound is better. Uh, let me know, please, in comments if the sounds okay. Uh, this cohesive AI is super cool. So I want to preface this by saying that yes, you can do this with different softwares with chat GPT, etc. It does use chat GPT at the end of the day. But using this interface, this software is far more seamless, far easier because everything's organized. It's prepared for what you want. It's not like ChatGPT where you're going to have to, you know, go through multiple steps to, to reach the same outcome. You have the blog generator, content brief, LinkedIn post, Facebook post, Instagram caption, Facebook, uh, brainstorming idea, you name it. I mean, you have all these things here on the left, slogan generator, creative bio generator. You can create elevator pitches, executive summary, a math tutor, anything you can think of, an Amazon ad. You want to do privacy policy, terms of use. All of these things are already in there and they work seamlessly. What's interesting is that you don't have to go through multiple steps to generate things. You can just do it with one click. And unlike ChatGPT, you get the full layout of everything you've asked for. I'm not going to go through all the examples I did. Um, I'm just going to go into my files, show you the ones I kept here. And for example, I hit create a blog. So what it does is you just say, uh, generate me a blog about whatever it is you want, uh, how AI is going to take over the world or whatever topic you're looking to do. What I asked is to write a full blog on how AI is going to revolutionize games. If we go into it, this is the, the already done result. So as you see, unlike ChatGPT, it actually does the whole thing for you along with the whole layout. And when you hit share, you can either directly publish to web or you can export file in PDF. So you'll have the full PDF ready, everything done. You don't have to go through multiple steps. So it's wonderful in that sense. So I asked it to write a blog about an AI that will change video games forever. And then I put some details in and it made the table of contents and just started writing and writing and writing about every detail. Oh, and speaking of games, what I'm thinking of doing is like a cool egg hunt type of thing because I have a ton of these Steam codes for video games. For you guys who like video games, I'm thinking of putting the codes within our videos in the future. So you guys are going to have to find out what the games are and you just leave a comment saying I got the game and you tell us what the game is. What we're going to do then is add all the people that won in a raffle for like the winner. Once there's 20, 30 winners, we're going to make a raffle for the winner specifically with a bunch of games as well. And another thing I'm thinking of doing game wise is to do a giveaway every time we hit a certain milestone on YouTube. And at every milestone, we're gonna do a different different kinds of giveaways. So what's interesting here is that since it did the table of contents, you can take them one by one and prompt it. That way you'll get cleaner answers and you'll have the bot focus because this is not auto GPT, it's still GPT. So you'll have the bot focus on each point by itself one by one since cohesive has already done all these points and by the way this is not a paid promo or anything like that i just found this ai super cool and i wanted to share it with you so since it did all the table of content what's better to do is to take them one by one and prompt the ai to write a paragraph about that single thing instead of going through them by itself because it does get a bit confused it's still chat gpt it's not auto gpt where it can do multiple it has multiple bots and it can do multiple tasks like we talked about two videos ago in this case it's just chat gpt the regular one so it does not keep very good track of previous points especially if your text is long so what i suggest to do is for example i stopped it here at enhancing enemy awareness and that would be the second point so the third point would be graphics and content generation in ai games so you come here at the bottom and you say graphics and content generation in ai games and then you hit continue writing and it will just take it from there right 
it will write that paragraph that has to do with the graphics and content generation of AI. That's just to have a cleaner paragraph that's really focused on your topic, on your point. And then what you can do here is either change the tone or hit more. If you hit more, you can upload an image from Stable Diffusion or Midjourney, or you can add a image from Unsplash. If you have an account there, you can ask it to make it longer, rephrase it, summarize the tone, translate to another language. Uh, what I liked a lot is that you can generate an image with cohesive AI. And so the image Image would be about graphics and content generation so we would want like video game graphics you can pick from multiple examples that it's going to give you so we got these we can pick one of them let's say we pick the first one and it's going to fit it perfectly within your text and you can move it up there to be right under your title and then you keep going and then we go on to the next point so what this will do is literally write you a whole blog with two or three clicks and then all you got to do from here is post your blog to medium or whichever blog uh, website you use and uh, create your own content with, with a few clicks. Obviously, you can still read through it, change whatever you want to change. But in essence, it's to give you the whole blog with the single prompt, all organized. And you got the pictures to add and everything within the same page and you just export it or share it directly. The other one I tried is quiz generator. And you would just click on the quiz generator and you would say, write a quiz about whichever topic you want. And this is what I got. I got five questions in my quiz. And as you see, I asked it to write a quiz about World War II. And it just does it immediately with the layout you want. So you don't have to go edit, copy, paste, and do all the work that you would have to do if you did that in ChatGPT, right? You can immediately export it and you're ready or print it out or do whatever you want with it. So in that sense, cohesive is really cohesive. It really helps a lot to produce your content scripts for YouTube, whatever you want instantly and with the layout and with everything. And you got the image generation in there. So for business or for fun or for content creation, it's really ideal. I loved it. This brings me to Wondercraft AI. What Wondercraft AI does is, and you can do this in 11 labs as well, but what Wondercraft AI does is it creates a full podcast for you. You could take that blog that you created in Cohesive and then add the text to Wondercraft and it will create a whole podcast with obviously with the actors' voices and everything. So you would name your podcast here, Epic Pod, and you write what this podcast is about. It'll be about AI and video games. You could give it a lot of points, main points here. We could grab them from the one we did before like this, add those points. It, it gives you the option to add another section. Now, keep in mind this cost, well, it's free for a few voices and for a few minutes, like up to three minutes. But if you want a podcast that's longer, obviously you're gonna have to pay $19 a month. That's if you're serious about doing a podcast, but if you just wanna release from time to time bits and pieces of podcast or have some of your text or all of your text voiced, because obviously you can redo the three minutes multiple times. This is how you do it. Click continue, it prepares, and then it's going to, to be voiced. You can pick different voices, a male, female, multiple males and females, etc. And it's really, really well done. And this is how the script would look. Welcome to Epic Pod. The podcast delves into exciting world of video games, blah, blah, blah. It writes everything. You can choose the voice. You can have multiple voices for the different sections. This is the midsection, the introduction, conclusion. And you just hit continue and it's going to create your podcast for you. And they sound really good. They sound extremely natural. Now, I'm not going to be able to make you hear this because of my sound setup going to my headset, but... Um, you should try this Wondercraft AI, it's quite cool. The final thing I wanna show you that's within the same concept is Chart GPT. So this is a girl that made this AI app that I thought was very simple yet very cool. It makes charts from prompt. If you're writing a document, a blog, or anything else that we saw in Cohesive and you need to add charts to that document, well, you could do it here very easily. Let's try it. We'll say, show me a bar chart of the PlayStation 5 sales on a yearly basis really I'm talking slow because i'm typing slow let's go let's see what we get and there we go i just realized that we've only had playstation 5 for two years but it gave us what we wanted so let's try another one let's let's do the same with playstation 4 we'll get more bars hopefully oops i downloaded so yeah you can download the chart and there we have it on the y-axis we have the numbers and the millions and on the x-axis, we have the year. And as you can see here, we've had 4.2 million in the first year, 14.8 million in the next one, and so on. Super simple yet super cool app. As you can see here, it can do line charts, pie charts, radar charts, any kind of chart. So unlike ChatGPT, it actually has access to the internet and you don't have to feed it the data. You just write, find me this, and it'll do a full chart for you. So kudos to this girl for doing this AI. It's very cool. So there you go, guys. You have everything you need to become a professional writer, whether it's legal documents, blogs, books, business documents, social media content, 
everything. You got everything in one place. You can even do the podcast as we showed you. You can add the pie charts and a lot of other cool stuff that you can do. Hope you found this useful and I'll see you around. Ta-ta. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for visiting. We highly appreciate it. And before you go, check out these cool videos we made for you. Do leave a like for the YouTube algorithm to like us. Thank you very much. And don't be a stranger. Ta-ta.